morning. Uh, it's nice and kind of nice and warm out here this morning. It's maybe a little chilly breeze, but uh, it's still dark. I'm still getting used to the, the light this, this early in the morning uh, or the lack of light. Uh, but the sunrise should be a little more beautiful. I don't usually get up for it until it starts to get a little uh, later into the day. So uh, today is Friday. It's been a long week. Hopefully you've had a good week. And this weekend uh, is something that you're looking forward to, whether you're getting a little bit of rest or you have some adventures planned or uh, have something else going on. Um, today I'm going to try to get a haircut, I think. That's something that is not always one of my favorite things because you got to really commit to it. <laughs> um, but it's, it's time for me. I could feel myself last night touching my hair a lot while I was uh, reading the prayers for our midweek Lenten service. So I think it's time for, for a haircut because I just can't keep it out of my out of my face anymore. But let's start out with a prayer and then we'll, we'll hop right into it and get ourselves uh, a little inspiration to go out into the world today to do God's work. Uh, so let's start out with a prayer. Let us pray. God, thank you for today. Thank you for all the different ways that you show up in our lives. Help us to feel your spirit guiding us and holding us up and empowering us uh, to go out into the world to do things that you have called us to do, to love you and to love one another uh, and to grow closer to you and grow closer to one another as we each can. In Jesus' name we pray. Last night, the midweek Lenten service um, was a good one because Jean read one of my favorite passages from Colossians 3 and then talked about it and how, um, how it can be difficult to, to sort of live into all the things that God calls us to do, but, but that there is some grace uh, and that we are called to try to live closely to what God has called us to do instead of what the world might be calling us to do. And so in that Colossians 3, it says that we should put on or clothe ourselves with, with certain attributes. So we should clothe ourselves with compassion and kindness and gentleness and patience and humility, those things. And I was thinking about all the different things that we subscribe to, all the different kinds of traits that we say are good traits because of our faith, all those different things. Uh, oh, you think of the fruits of the spirit, the love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, whatever they are. <laughs> um, I, it's too early in the morning for that. I haven't had my coffee yet. But all these different traits that, that we hold on to. And so I thought this morning we could explore all the things that we, as Christians, say that we would want to clothe ourselves with, like that compassion or that patience. Uh, and I think the top one for me is empathy, um, is listening to others and uh, trying to understand where they're coming from and uh, trying to support them and know that they have struggles and joys just like we have struggles and joys. I think empathy is something that really connects us as human beings to one another or, or tries to give us the, the power to connect us to one another even through our differences. I mean, I think empathy is one of the top things that I think my faith teaches me to live with so that I can be more aware of what's going on around me. I can be more ready to love and care for my neighbors. I can be more ready to, to address the needs of the community. Uh, so empathy is something that's not in that, that passage. Maybe it's a, a more modern word, I guess, but it kind of encompasses a lot of those things for me. So what is, what is one way that you try to live your life with compassion, with patience, with accountability, like what are some words that you would say uh, are, are ways that you try to live your life because of your Christian faith? And that's what I'm thinking about this morning. What are some things, if, if you were gonna write Colossians 3 today and tell people to clothe themselves in something, what would it be? Uh, the, the list of traits in the Boy Scout motto or uh, the again, the fruits of the spirit? Is it a list of things that you wake up and try to tell yourself each morning? What are a list of traits that you strive to be because of your faith? Uh, that's the, the thought for today, and hopefully we can go about our days and, and maybe notice what we're up to or guide ourselves based on things that we hope for in our lives. So let's pray. We'll go about our days and see what God has in store for us. And hopefully, again, this weekend we'll bring either some rest or some newness or... Uh, if you're working a bunch this weekend just to get through it <laughs> to the next uh, day of rest and good things that you have coming. Uh, 
Let's pray. God, thank you for today. Uh, thank you for all the different ways that you clothe us with your love and that you empower us to be clothed with things like compassion and kindness and gentleness and patience and humility and empathy and all the things that you have called us to be in this world for you, for others, for ourselves. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, y'all. Have a good day.